So everybody remembers this game, right? Right? This was the game that so many people, including myself as wrestling fans, were looking forward to playing. I just wanted to make my own characters, make my own storylines, just dive headfirst into the game because I actually even enjoyed WWE 2K16 and 17. I enjoyed both. So with this game being a buggy mess on the Nintendo Switch, having characters almost playing slow-mo when there was more than six characters on the screen or more than four characters. So today we're going to look at WWE 2K18 just to see if it's still broken. So stick around this video and let's go ahead and jump right into it. You know how much I love the Nintendo Switch! What's going on, Switch fam? It is your boy QKG. So, right off the bat, man, as soon as I got my new SD card, because I had to pack this thing full of games, man, I was looking into my game library, seeing what I wanted to re download, and WWE 2K18 was just there, just, just, dang it, just please play me. Please play me. It was really. It was just really wanting to smoke from your boy. So I said, you know what? Let me actually go ahead and download it, see what's up, see if this game has fixed some of the issues that I had with the game. And right off the bat, as soon as I booted up the game, it said, this online service is no longer available. Thank you for your continued interest. That is cold word for saying we don't want to support this online anymore right because we had such an issue with it, which is definitely understandable. So that, I was like, okay, I don't even play online. I barely download any creative wrestlers, which kind of sucks for those who don't want to create their own wrestlers and they might want to download some of like the harder wrestlers to make. That kind of sucks. But for the most part, yeah, don't expect to play this game online, period. When I booted this game up, I can't lie, like, when I did a triple threat match, it ran pretty smooth. Like, I can't lie. It was actually pretty decent. There were some cases where there were pyro or smoke that popped up with a certain character's uh, intro, and that made it laggy a little bit. But playing the game in general was very, very smooth. It was an extremely smooth experience, which I was kind of surprised at. And I was like, yo, this is definitely nice. I was even having fun. I was just doing whatever I could in that match to survive because I even forgot like how to play. So overall, I was genuinely surprised. I'm like, this is actually pretty good. I was like, I don't remember it being this smooth. I do remember it being smooth when there's like a little bit of characters on the screen, especially like 1v1 matches. But I did a triple threat and everything ran pretty smooth. So then let's fast forward and actually get into the six man match I did. And that's when I noticed because I noticed for like a distinct character that uh, Finn Balor's intro was really really out of sync and I was just checking in to see if that's still the case and yeah it kind of is I will say it's a little better because it doesn't look like it's in heavy slow-mo but it still looks like it's a slow-mo so for that I was like okay that's still kind of the same but you have the option to skip them even though I would like to sit there and enjoy them because some most of them are pretty cool um just going through most of the characters, like, it was almost the same case. Like, even my character's intro, that his interest that didn't lag in the triple threat match was now lagging in the six-man match. So I'm just like, Jesus Christ, I don't, I don't know what, what was the deal. So then, as I actually got to playing, I noticed everything. It felt completely different from playing it on the three-man match or the, th um, the triple threat match. But... For some reason, it's, it's, as soon as you add those three characters in, the game just goes, just goes in the dumpster. It's it gets really unplayable. There are times when I can I can get through it, but I know if I go through the my career mode and they have a match like this, or if they have a Royal Rumble, Jesus Christ, it's going to be a lag fest. I was just like, this is just not. And then it really makes it, it just make it doesn't make the. Like, does it make it worth it when you actually sit there and play the match when it's like that? Like, I'm out here stuttering trying to get the right words out because, on one hand, I do enjoy the game when there's not more than four characters on the screen. But then I really get annoyed when there are more than four characters on the screen. So, it's like, as much as I want to dodge those matches, I don't know how often they'll come. I'll try to keep up because I really do want to finish the story mode. But... It seems like the game is just not it's just not happening and that explains why we never got WWE 2K19 and I'm pretty sure there's no word for WWE 2K20 even coming over to the Nintendo Switch just because of the all, just a little like horrible time they had possibly developing this game trying to get it to work 
because there were still some gray areas that they missed out. And honestly, we're probably going to end up hearing about WWE 2K20 in like the next, like, I don't know, probably three months or so, depending. But I have heard news that WWE was looking for a new publisher besides 2K just because of this debacle. That's what they were looking for. So, overall, the only time on the QKG scale, because we're vi revisiting games that I've either talked about before in the past, that games that were busted. So, I would only recommend this game, if you're a, if a wrestling fan, no higher than $20 if it's on sale. If you're not a wrestling fan, and you kind of like wrestling a little bit, and you kind of want to make some characters, $10. That's that's what I would recommend because as soon as you boot that game up and you do a Royal Rumble match or a six-man match, you're going to notice the dips and it is nuts. So that's all I got to say about this game, man. As much as I do enjoy the, the depth of the game and enjoy everything that's there, the technical issues and just all the bugs in the game are just not... Sometimes it makes it feel like it's not worth it. Sometimes it does. It, it's just very inconsistent. So I would love to thank you guys for tuning into this video. And we're finally getting back on the road to doing these videos because work was kicking my buns, boy. But we back with these videos. So always leave your comments down below on a kind of shoddy switch port that you want me to cover too. Because I've actually purchased quite a few. So definitely leave your comments down below and we will definitely get into it. So I'd like to thank you guys for tuning in. This is your boy QKG and peace out.